Well, it's the first day of trading for February. And coincidentally, both of the words February and flat start with an F. And that's how February has started flat. All the major indices are, it's just boring out there. It's just flat. But some stocks, you're seeing a lot of ups and downs in some stocks. One of the stocks that we're going to talk about today, AT&T, has done something shocking. They've done something they haven't done in 18 years. They've cut their dividend. So we're gonna talk about why in this video. So stick around. Hey guys, welcome back to Tip Ranks. I'm Richard Allen. Thank you so much for joining me for another video. My goodness, what a crazy January we had. The worst month in the S&P since March of 2020. Almost the worst month in the NASDAQ ever. But it ended up being the worst month since the 2008 financial crisis. Oh my goodness. Craziness. But today, you wouldn't know that anything was wrong, right? The S&P is down 0.11%. The Dow is down 0.04%. And the NASDAQ down 0.29%. All fractions of a percent. Which is good. I think I think having a big up day like we had yesterday on the last trading day of December, of January, coming off of that day and being kind of flat or a little green every once in a while, I think is good. I think it shows a little more confidence in the markets, a little less exuberance, I think is a good thing overall for the markets and the longevity of the markets. Okay? That's just my opinion. But I mostly want to talk about the streaming wars and AT&T getting out of the streaming wars. That's right. In a $43 billion deal, they're splitting off Warner Media, which is like HBO, Warner Brothers, Time Warner, things like that, in into a company that is also owned by Discovery. Okay? So Discovery and Warner Brothers, Warner Media will be a company and AT&T will be by itself. Frankly, they're sick of competing with Netflix and Disney and spending a ton of money on content to keep those subscribers. Now, there's a lot of money in it, potentially. In fact, HBO Max, which is part of the Warner Media Group, grew faster than any of the other streaming services out there in the fourth quarter, probably because they were had the exclusive rights to the new Matrix movie. That's probably why. Uh, that's when I joined HBO Max. But I've decided to keep it because there's a lot of great content on there. But for me and my family, we're finally get to the, getting to the point where it's like, do we need Netflix? Now, over the past several years, Netflix really, until Disney Plus was around and HBO Max and some of the others now, Netflix was kind of like the only game in town. And if you've paid attention to Netflix stock recently, uh, they have had a sharp decline in uh, both uh, expectations going forward, but also the stock price. And it's finally getting to the point where a lot of people are reevaluating what they need and there's a lot of competition in town. I think this is a smart decision for AT&T. But what's most shocking about this decision is they've also decided to do something that they haven't done in almost 20 years. They have been one of the few companies out there in America that has had a steady dividend increases over the past 18 years. Steady increases over and over again from 30 cents up to 52 cents per quarter. So right now, they have had uh, about a 7 to 8% per year dividend, which is fantastic. And it's been steady. Now, that's going to drop to 3.5% to 4%, which is still okay, but it's not anywhere near as good as some of the other companies out there. This has been one of the few things that have kept people invested in AT&T stock for the long haul. Is if you, you park your money in AT&T, you leave it there, you can be sure that you're going to make some dividend income year after year after year after year. And you can reinvest it or you can use that as income. You put a million dollars in there, all of a sudden you make $70,000 a year extra in dividend income. A lot of people did that as they retired. That won't be the case as much anymore. On this news, shares of AT&T are down over 4% today. But analysts do like AT&T stock overall. If you take a peek at what the analysts have to say before this news, 
19% upside over the next 12 months. A moderate buy based on 14 analyst ratings. But I expect that we'll see some new analyst ratings over the next few days, maybe even today, um, and over the next earnings cycle and things like that. This deal is looking to play out over the course of the next couple quarters. So it's something to pay attention to. Uh, I don't know if the share price for AT&T will go up over time. I'm expecting, like I said, some reiteration. So what do you guys think about this news of AT&T getting out of the streaming wars, trying to focus more on their wireless network? That's kind of what we all know AT&T for, but they bought Time Warner in a massive deal um, years ago. Um, and they've been, you know, they've been planning on uh, on divesting that for a long time already. They've been talking about it for a couple of years. So um, it, it wasn't uh, the best uh, financial decision probably for the company, um, but they're still going to own 71% of the company. What do you guys think about them lowering their dividend? I know we talk about dividend stocks on this channel quite a bit, but I would love to hear your opinion because uh, AT&T has been one of the great stocks for dividend income and has been one of the most secure uh, over the past 20 years. So it's crazy that they're that they're finally lowering it. So guys, thank you so much for joining me for another video. As always, I appreciate each and every single one of you. If you learned something new or found any value in this video at all, let me know by hitting that like button and that subscribe button down below. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.